What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with the first week of the semi-finals of the MLPB. And uh, let me let me break it down to you guys. So things are a little bit different as per the usual in the MLPB. For those guys who have been following this league on the channel, uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel as well. And if you guys would like to catch up and be up to date with all of my battles in the league of the MLPB, Check out the links in the video description. I'll have a link to every single one of my battles in the MLPB so you guys can see where we're at today. But basically, how things are going to work in the semi-finals is I'm going to be facing off. First of all, I'm facing off against Primal Crew and the California Kyogres. Uh, they came first in my division, which is the Bulu division. And first is playing fourth. I came fourth, unfortunately. I was a little bit, a little bit low down there, but, but it's okay, it's okay. And second is playing third in this in in the first week of the semi-finals so I could either if I lose today I'm out if I win today I continue on so I have a chance to continue on throughout the MLPB but um basically we're opening up burning shadows this week just a cl classic blister as per the usual so there's no no way to tamper this opening it is a sealed blister pack and the only difference between the standard weeks and the semi-finals is I'm classed as the away team because I lost and the California Kyogres is classified as the home team because they are like higher up in the ladder. They came first, they get an advantage just for doing so well in the league, basically. So I get two competitive picks, so it's up from one to two, even though I'm the away team, I get two and the home team is getting three from what I believe, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they get a uh, home team advantage of three, which is kind of insane so the, the potential to get some bigger points right now is there so with all that being said hopefully you guys understand and i explained that kind of well enough so the semi-finals is just basically the same same as what we usually do in the mlpb just an extra competitive pick that's what i was trying to get at anyway that was that's probably how i should have like started things off so my competitive picks this week uh, first of all we have here the persian it's got a 90 HP with Screech Slash, and it's number 102 out of 147. And the reason why I chose this one is purely because if we're going to get some bad pulls, this is potentially going to be one of the cards we're going to get. So we need a backup for bad pulls. So this is our backup there to give us three points if we hit this one. And then, of course, you've got to have the common to try and uh, just up your points, and one point could be the difference between winning or losing. And this is definitely going to be one of the most common cards to get from the set. In my eyes so we'll, we'll see if we can hit those so they're my they're my uh, competitive picks so with that said that's the, we're about three minutes into the opening that's that's okay um, hopefully you guys understand and and are on uh, level level playing fields with me right now and uh, let's get cracking into these packs and see if we can get some epic points and no error packs I don't want unless unless the error pack is going to be glorious like we're talking full art Hold on, I gotta, I gotta leave it on cam. Otherwise, people are like, Brody, Brody, you, you uh, mapped the packs. You did something. You, you, yeah. Let's let's leave that. Anyway, um, oh dang, I completely forgot about the promo there. <laughs> there's the there's the code for the blister. Oh, I totally bent that. It's either that or it was just really warped straight out the <laughs> straight out the blister. But let's grab this coin out. It is a Metagross coin. Straight out off to the side, like from the uh, Metagross uh, premium collection box back in the day. So heads. We win, tails we lose. Let's knock this down. Ooh, uh, ooh, I'm calling a win, you guys. I'm calling a win, well, Metagross is anyway. But let's take a quick look see at this promo. So it is the Cosmog promo, it's got 60 HP with gust, uh, Dust Gathering. Oh dear, I can't believe how warped that is. That's That kinda sucks. Kinda kinda sucks, but that is, that's all right. So we have, we've got the code, we've got the promo. So these are our three packs. We've got the Marshadow, Tapu Fini, and the Ho-Oh. So if you guys are keen for this, this this week, the first week of the semifinals of the MLPB, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel with push notifications turned on. Make sure you guys ring that bell. But let's go, let's go into this Marshadow pack here and see, see if we can get some crazy good pulls. We're aiming for hype res personally for the collection, but... It is a okay if we don't if we don't get the hype res, but um, there is the go. I'm gonna give those ones away. I got heaps of burning shadows on TCGO right now, so we good, we good. So let's go four and two. So we're looking for Caterpie, and then reverse rares and all all the other goodies. So kicking things off here, we have a Riolu, Rhyhorn, a Tangler, 
Dupita. Oh, I'm seeing green. We got a Noibat. So no Caterpie there. We got the Unlisted Leaf Energy. We got the Metapod, of course. We got like half a point there for that Caterpie in the top left. Just kidding. We have a Lana, Electabuzz, a Meowth Reverse Holo Common, and a Vileplume Holo. Nice. So we do kick things off here with, is that that's two points? Two points on the board there with the Holo. So 140 HP with the ability Disgusting Pollen and Down a Shock. Nice. You guys can kind of see that there. That is a Holo Vileplume. Pretty cool. Nice. So that is two points on the board. Alrighty. Tapu Fini. So once again, we are looking for Caterpie, Reverse Rares, and Epic Pulse. Alrighty, there is the code. Four and two. So even if we get a bad pack right now, we still have the potential to get some points here. So we have a Mudbray, we need a Caterpie, we have a Stuffle. Noibat, I should have chose Noibat, that's two Noibat so far. An Esper and nothing. No, my competitive pick pull game is just killing me right now. We have a bodybuilding dumbbells, Rhydon, Electric, a Slow King, which is a reverse rare. That is one point on the board. And can we, can we hit something amazing or a Persian? That is our goal. We have a Toxic Rogue. No, no, you guys. Okay, so a quick, quick story about this. I have off to the side to me potential other competitive picks that I was choosing from. So one here is Tortinator. The other here is Cutie Fly. And then of course the last one is Toxic Croak. Oh that makes me so angry. Oh <laughs> I had Toxic Croak in my hands. And then I chose Persian. No. No, that sucks. Anyways, anyways, it's funny that I, I left them there. That's like my little proof. That's, that's basically what I was doing before I recorded. I was just going through and weighing out which ones should have been picked or like which ones I was going to pick from. Alrighty, so let's go four and two. Can we do it? Can we finish it off with some decent points? We got three points. Three points on the board so far. We need something more. Can we hit a Caterpie? Sork. Togenomaru. Wimpod. Rattata. No! No, that sucks. I am so bad at my competitive picks. It is ridiculous. We have a Curlia. Porygon. Kamehameha Porygon. Just a common. And a Malamar. Regular rare to finish, finish things off today. So we got a Dud Blister Pack. That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So we have one point there for the Slow King. Two for the Hollow Vile Plume. And that is it. We did not hit a single competitive pick of the Caterpie or the Persian, which sucks. Anyways, anyways, it's all luck at the end of the day. So if you guys have enjoyed this week of the MLPV, be sure to drop a like down below. And make sure you guys check out Primal, uh, Primal Crew's side of this semi-final battle, I think. I'm going to call it now. We have lost. The coin flip lied to me. We got heads and that was supposed to be a win. I'm going to say it's a loss. A holo and a reverse rare. I like literally an, e, an ultra rare GX is has tied things up. And usually out of these blisters, you're almost guaranteed a, a GX. So GG, congratulations to Primal Crew. If we do happen to win, I'll, I'll bite my tongue. But I'm saying congratulations right now. You're on to you're further off in the semi-finals, and um, it's time for me to take a seat. But yeah, with that said, if you guys once again, if you guys did enjoy today's opening, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that said, I'm gonna get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.